these episodes. It's gonna be one of you know you're sitting on my foot. Well, maybe if you gave me some more goddamn space. Give don't me some don't tickle damn me. space. I need some space. Now listen right here, give me some space. Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies why, and gentlemen. Why does Alex have And such welcome trip? to episode... 354 of the Jar Media Podcast. I'm your host, Alex, joined by Jim. I am Jim, and before I get too deep into the show, gotta say, it was a palindrome last episode and I forgot to mention it, but that's Idiot. old. Idiot. And my D not host, James. C- good afternoon. Not host. Delightful. Before we um, get too deep into any topics and whatnot and housekeeping or whatever may be planned for us, Alex has a few words. Yeah, so uh, Jehovah's Witness came to my door today uh, while I was still wearing my t-shirt covered in uh, toothpaste dribble and um, my pyjama bottoms that have show the outline of my tiny willy like really well um so i had kind of a fun little little Mm. little combative there how did that make you feel i said come inside then i went and got my uh fedora and then we started debating Mm. did you film it i secretly filmed it yeah yeah are you gonna make a cringe compilation out of it Mm. yeah youtuber destroys idiot (laughs) <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Now this is exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, we're, we're known. For <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I'm the new what, one. What do you want? <laughs> yes. So welcome back, and welcome for the first time for those of you who've never seen us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, I like that. <laughs> that was good. We gotta, we gotta keep that up. That's like proper professional. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A, that's a big welcome to our TikTok, our new fans <laughs> on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. But I guess before we get too goofy with it, we gotta shout out those Jar Media patrons to make the audio oh. version of this show possible. Let's go! And if you are a Dibby tier or above over on the Patreon, you get your names read out in the first or second week of each month. I guess we'll be doing that next episode, seeing as we're in December right now. Feeling festive over here. Hmm. Yeah. It is the season of it's giving. December. When the weather Oh, up. she shit. December? That's stressful. I feel like December, like, hypothetically, or creatively, feels like the shortest month to me. It does. Do you think? It, always, it feels like it's a week long. It's so packed. Yeah. I've got a controversial opinion. Vacation. I would argue that... Mm-hmm. I believe February feels like the shortest month. Oh, I knew you were going to be a pragmatist about this. Have you done research into that? See, what do you value more? Feeling or... Logic. Fact. Mm. Because I'll tell you, one doesn't care about the other. Mm. True. Mm. It's the Vulcan episode. Is Ben Shapiro a Vulcan? Is that what they're called? I've never actually seen Star Trek. I'm posering right now. Oh, a Vulcan. Oh, right, yeah. I, I, I heard that as Balkan. Like, you're Balkan. I'm Balkan. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, not long there. <laughs> I'm known as, um, Bulking Bobby. <laughs> um. <clears throat> do you not have questions about the Jehovah's Witness before we do housekeeping? I was kind of happy with where we left that. Really? Because I wasn't joking. That happened. And you probably saw my willy. Really? At least the outline. Did they did they comment on it? He said, "You need God." Did he say? No, the actual way they phrased it were like, "Now, with how awful and dreadful the world is, and how much everything sucks, and how bad, and everyone's suffering, how are you doing right now?" I'm a one, buddy. <laughs> Never been better. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the dumbest place to start it, though. It's like, no, I th- they're looking for a particular type, I think. A sufferer. Someone who's, they've got, they've got it rough desperate. right now. Someone desperate. Someone who's, yeah. you know. You know. 
Just like the housekeeping comments from the previous episode. Oh my god. And it was a fiery bunch. Uh oh. It was a fiery hey. bunch. I think we're going to get into some fiery discourse. Ooh, the discourse episode, finally. Mm. Mm. Yes. Some um, fantastic well, the, debate. I wasn't sure how you guys wanted to handle... Because I've got, I've got a normal housekeeping, but I also had a whole uh, siloed off bit about the controversial subject from last episode, mm. that being pornography. Which uh, kind of took me by surprise, to be honest. Um, for the simple reason that we've talked about pornography use multiple times on the channel. Multiple mm. times, and it's never really had this weird, like, backlash. For some reason. But, mm, last episodes did. Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, we could probably spend, like, a whole hour <clears throat> on it, and I, wow. I don't really want to... No, I, I don't th- really want to do think... that unless you guys want to do that. And if I, if we did want to do that, then I'd want to do it in a separate thing. Yeah. Well, well it's James's opinions. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, James's. Kind of James's. Is, uh, don't, don't let me lead this because um, I do not have the brain or the preparation right now to be able to uh, provide a basically a video essay um, citing all the facts to back up my claims. No, we're not. We're not saying. Is that something you would like to do in the future? Is save these questions? Yeah, because I've got them all. I don't care about the subject enough. What do you mean? But we talk about it all the time. That's, nah, okay, but I'll do it then. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I'll take, take my place. You get. You get the heat. Don't let Jim's me get the steal, heat. Jim's gonna steal, man. It's just I don't have much to say on it because you know I've read a lot of these comments. And there seems to be a lot of things that seem to be missed by uh, people who are trying to, like, almost defend it. I think they were hung up on the flagrant language more so, I think. I think it was like, what was it? I think you said something like propaganda. You used the word propaganda, which I guess, I don't know. If people don't know you, they might not know. They might, uh, I guess, assume Mm. things are charged a certain way, maybe. Yeah, which is some of this language. Um, actually, not the case because obviously I didn't know the question was going to be sprung on. I didn't know that question was you can ask it. So obviously, I'm not going to have you know, like I said, a, a like an almost video essay planned script of how to talk about this subject. It was literally just a. I've seen this comment being made a lot by people online, and it's just like a. Uh, I am frustrated at that comment because there are things I disagree with. So it comes out as being ex- excessive, and ex- an exaggeration. But the, there's a lot of facts that kind of prove that you know the the idea that porn is bad is is kind of true. Uh, I, literally yesterday night, I I literally just YouTubed dangers of porn and just found an instant um, video about a neurological specialist saying, "Yeah, we we did this test and we found this." It's like I I feel like a lot of people want me to provide all the evidence to be able to educate them. When anyone who has a stance on it can literally just Google or watch and find, you know, scientific data about whatever side. You, I'm not going to try and argue for science when without any plan, you know. Mm-hmm. If you are, if you do have like a really defensive stance of it, you, you've kind of got to look at it realistically from a lot of perspectives. Because it's not something that is just like this one mm-hmm. perspective from it. There's a yeah. lot. I just and think it's like an interesting topic and mm. discussion. It, it is. Emerging because, technology and the knock-on results of that. Yeah, uh, so your sexuality is a, a large part of but I human I existence. Know. You know? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I haven't read any studies or anything. I'm just going off for... Uh, I've read yeah, I, th- I think few. personal experience as well is a totally valid way to... Like when talking about anything you choose to consume or not consume. You know, personal experience is valid in that, and how you feel it affects you. It doesn't need to be backed up by studies right. and facts. Yeah. You know, and if if I don't want to speak for you, but if you are coming from more of a personal angle and you feel as though you've been affected in certain ways, yeah, because then I, that that is is valid. Yeah, because you know, at the end of the day, I've admitted <clears throat> constantly on this cast that I started watching pornography at like a young age. And a lot of the points yeah. I'm making of the dangers of pornography is not about the 25-year-old man who's watching porn. It's mm-hmm. about the person who's the, the 12-year-old who's still developing. 
you know, or even uh, younger now. And you know, they have unlimited access to pornography, and that isn't. There needs to be more research done on the effects of pornography on a developing brain because we know、mm-hmm. it's there. That we know there's dangers there, and I don't think there's many ways you can walk around it to try and make out as if kids、yeah. consuming porn is like a good thing.、Mm. Because you know, kids don't consume alcohol because everyone and every government have acknowledged that kids consuming a dangerous substance like alcohol、yeah. is bad. That's why it's a controlled substance. That's, yeah, that's where it's like fascinating to me because it's like. That's such a that's such an enigma because like you have to get your hands on a physical bottle、mm. of alcohol,、mm. so you can put it in a special place in the supermarket, in its、mm. own shops. How do you do that with you can't something as? And I, I've seen other people mention about、um, it's like limiting someone's freedoms, and at the same、yeah. time, it's like buying alcohol is not and the, the limit on kids drinking alcohol is not ruining their freedom. It's just a controlled substance,、mm. so controlling and, pornography. A good thing that some comments were bringing up, though, that I will shout out right now, was something I hadn't thought of was、uh, the the religious angle to this.、Um, we don't really think about that in the UK as much.、Um, yes, I think that can、true. paint, and they can hear certain arguments that,、um, like in certain places in America, for example, that where they are a bit more like a. Sex negative or whatever you want to say.、Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think that mainly comes down to a cultural thing here is that we don't have that. So it's naturally not. I yeah. I don't feel like I、so、can be blamed entirely for not considering that perspective. But it's not a normal part of the culture here. But yeah, that's a that's a fair point, and it and it is true.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course.、Um, do you, do you guys prefer not knowing the questions? Or do you think that adds a certain angle, or would you actually prefer to know them bef- beforehand? No, I think、uh, not knowing about th- them is. I is think、good. it depends on the question. Yeah, 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 largely. But yeah, it also、true. depends how much time we have pre-question. Yeah, and there are so many questions to choose from. I like quite spontaneously, like we'll just pick ones based on how I'm feeling. Yeah, like、um, literally in the moment, you'll have like fifty questions there in front of you, but you choose. So、ten. maybe, yeah, maybe I should think about that if it is a more serious topic or something. Because、mm. when it's goofy, it doesn't matter.、But、if it is something a bit more serious, I'd like to know what the listeners think on that as well. If there, if、yeah. if ever you would like for us to like put time aside and actually like. Research something before talking about it, or if you prefer spare of the moment. Like、mm. I, I think a lot of people leaving questions, it is with the assumption that they will be sprung on us.、Mm-hmm. You know,、yeah. right?、Uh, because that's what we've done. Yeah, yeah. That's what. I've, yeah, that's I've never even thought. That's just how it's always been done. Yeah, we've never.、Really、And、done. I do think the there's a lot. The large part of the jarcast is the spontaneous nature、uh-huh. of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's like the previous times we've talked about mental health and serious subjects like that. It's been way more of like this.、Uh, we're going to talk about this.、Mm-hmm. So、we need to like, be、yeah. open and consider things like that. And you know, pornography is one of those subjects as well. But it's like if someone is angry at what I say and the way I say it on Jar, it's like you can. These people can message me, and we can actually talk about it and where your stance、mm-hmm. is. Because it's like there, there, there's. I feel like some people have this idea that I'm not open to other opinions. Because it's being said on the jarcast, but that's not true at all. Yeah, and we both see and... activity on the subreddit as well. Yeah,、um, I don't think Jim's on there, but so、um, all, if、goes. anyone has questions, you can literally ask on the Reddit, and I might see it. You know, it's just、mm-hmm. like that 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 communication is there, so don't just like start assuming things about us based yeah. on. Yeah, I guess that might have been why、it. some of them felt upset. Was maybe they felt.、Uh, Your version was like a bad faith interpretation of how they felt, maybe.、Mm. Fair, they, they, they're valid in the way they feel. Yeah, but anyway. Right, Mister Mature. <laughs> yeah, what? Hey, yeah. I, I'm making up for the last twenty episodes of being <laughs> shit. Um, on a less、uh, heavy note, I guess.、Um, music lover Dog said, "No, Alex, it was you who told people to go to R slash FNAF. James is innocent this time." Okay, like that. Maybe that does make, seem.、What? That sounds like something I would say, and James would get annoyed by it more so than James. Yeah, doing、mm. it, saying it. But it did、yeah. that. It did the thing where, after I'd stopped doing it, then James would start doing it, like ironically. After, yeah,、so、I feel like what I was getting confused with. We'd kind of 
whoever like uh, said the questions bit, someone would say the FNAF bit. You know? Yeah, it just became part of the the bit, the furniture yeah. almost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Diet V Leet says, "I work night shift, so every oh, yeah. early Monday morning I listen to the new Jar episode while at work." And then when I get home, I load up the YouTube video version and watch through the whole thing again. Jeez. But this time watching the vid. Thank you for this weekly ritual in my life. No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the Spotify wrapped just came out today. It so did. we're getting, everyone's tweeting the, they're wrapped and how many minutes. It's, it's like, it's just like judge how deranged. So far the winner is like a hundred thousand minutes of jar. You That's, must have done that on purpose. Like yeah. just left it on. In might, the yeah, like there's no an way. Episode I listened to what when I've, in the whole year I've listened to nineteen thousand music. Yeah, mine was I think forty thousand music. So, <laughs> the, so that's both of ours combined and uh, all of ours combined. Yeah, mine's about forty thousand. Yeah. So it's like that would still be less than the amount of listens that they had on the cars. <laughs> that's that's insane. <laughs> that's that's insane. <laughs> Yeah, that should, is. Could you want to briefly talk about our Spotify Wrapped? Uh, hmm. It's, it's a nice. I know it's a nice little thing, the Spotify Wrapped. If you want to, um, I don't really have many things to shout out on mine. I Yours like is saving. corrupted. Mine is corrupted because of my like two day long work playlist full of like instrumental music, and because Mac DeMarco released like a nine and a half hour long instrumental album this year which I put into that playlist um, and Spotify does that weird weighted thing so it's like mm -hmm. it's just been constantly playing that um, but because it's nine hours long you don't hear repeats that much so yeah, I've been listening to it a lot um, but I'll go I like going into the music more in the the January rounding up the year episode we do okay we can actually talk about that yeah that's, if that's you guys cool. have anything you want to shout out on the on your rap to the Nothing fresh. Yours is just low raw. Yeah, low raw, and the that one killer mic album I, I've said about in like two episodes mm. Mm. as well. That was the bulk of my. Is there anything surprising in yours, James? Honestly, no. Um, I started the year with with very much like a I love Samoa and I love Refused, and that's kind of just stayed that way. Mm. I just Samoa, um, <clears throat> Refused, you know, being <clears throat> punk is just. The early albums are amazing. Their recent stuff, their recent album is, you know, same production as Samurai. Mm. Being that's their, like, the cyberpunk refused. Perfect. Mm. So radicalized me even more. <laughs> yeah, really, really good. Just Samurai, cyberpunk, Samurai, perfect. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing more of the cyberpunk music I've been playing a little bit. Let's might, go. might report back when I've played more. Uh, mm. Cartoon Grump says, Frankly, I think Alex looks more like Jack Quaid currently. Now, Is that it? one I don't see. He's the main guy in The Boys. In the Boys, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I don't, I, I don't no. see that at all. No, I don't see that. Not one bit. He was in the first Hunger Games, weirdly. Oh, maybe Jack Harlow. <laughs> yes. Oh, Jack Harlow. Someone called yes. me that in, when I was last in London. Really? Yeah, when I walked that, past That them. I can see. Yeah. I mean, like... It... <clears throat> It's kind of vaguely, but I do see it. There is. A if I had to be, I mean, I would. I'll take Jack Quaid over Dream. <laughs> Probably well, be a Nepo yeah. baby than Dream. Yeah. Um, what about Jack Harlow or Dream? A little bit trickier. Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow. He's okay, Jack Harlow yeah. or Young Gravy. <sighs> That's a different. Jack Harlow. I feel like Jack Harlow is probably the most respected of all. Of them. Over those, yeah. At least he's in that Lil Nas song, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dreamhouse five three three says I'm okay with the bleep spam spamming if you only use the Call of Duty Black Ops one. So if people don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes when I'm bleeping a swear out or something, it's more than swear word sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like a whole sentence. I've got mm. like an audio pack of just. I must have just been recording audio and been like just say random things. Um, and I just plug them in oh, okay. now and again. So sometimes you'll, you'll be like saying something and it'll just go, it'll be James saying, Call of Duty Black Ops. Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe uh, I Yeah, I did not know that was a bleep. Do, oh, yeah, did did you not know that? <laughs> I kind of have a memory of it. Now. <laughs> yeah, I do that occasionally, but I wasn't sure if that was mm -hmm. more annoying 
or no, like, the, like confusing to listen to. Yeah. If, like no, Call of Duty Black Ops has a has a place in Jar Law. It has a place in Jar Law yeah, in, in the yeah, strategy. And, place, yeah. and the way you like deliver it, like in the recording, is like super crazy, like stilted. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're reading an ad or something. Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> it's awesome. I love, I love Black okay, Ops. Okay, so what? Should we not do the B anymore? No, no more B. Just commit to Black that. Ops. Yeah. Because there's also one of you, Jim, doing that. Oh, that you know, that, that sound you. That doing. one must be painful. That. <laughs> oh, I've yeah, used that yeah, a few yeah. times as yeah. well for the um. Who was it? It was Led Zeppelin. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Led Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. No, I've forgotten that. I've got to work on it. I love to find it. I've got it recorded at least. So I, I know I, I've got a recording of it. It was kind of like an apex thing. <laughs> it was yeah. an apex. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can it was hear when it. the the tensions built up and like we were making plays and um. <laughs> Wouldn't you do it down the mic at like the enemy? <laughs> like on directional chat or something? Wasn't it like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you got some like fucking loser ass like, <laughs> chat and shit. Yeah. Oh, God, those are the days. <laughs> Honestly, video, voice chat make everything better. Yeah, chat yeah, everything better. funnier, for sure. Yeah. One, it's, it's one reason to play Modern Warfare, the new one. <laughs> oh right, direct chat. Yeah, but, but like the only good moments we had involved people screaming down the mic, saying stuff, and like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we got we kind of got to pivot to a serious topic again. Oh me. I tweeted about that in this episode. This will be the last update <coughs> I had for Max, okay. the Golden Retriever, which is now it's a three part story. It's going to wind up being on Jar, a trilogy of Max uh, catch ups. Uh, do you guys remember what I said last time, last update, one week ago? Um, it was that you had written a letter to the. Place that's right. I was writing it. a letter at that yes. time, um, and I was going to read that letter right after I read this comment from uh, Camo Weed about this. In animal care, you would basically never shave a golden retriever for any reason other than unmanageable abundance of mats and knots. Alex is probably correct about the course of events. Likely after not having his coat maintained for multiple months, Max was handed off to the shelter who sent him to a professional groomer, externally or in-house, who then made the decision his coat was not salvageable. I would say that if there wasn't a period where Alex intervened and maintained Max's coat and really put him into a good place for his health, he'd be far worse off, documented on this YouTube channel. You can see Max improve and become more self-confident and clearly show signs of vitality as Alex and the Jar Boys work with him over several months. It's very inspiring, uh, the genuine empathy shown to this animal, and you guys will be with him forever no matter what. I thought that was pretty nice. Um, that is nice. We miss Max. Oh, he was such a big loser. I, yeah, I did, like, didn't really realize how much I missed him. Yeah. Because I'd like, I'd internalize that, I'd close that off thinking like, I'm never going to see him again. Yeah. I'm never going to be faced with anything like that again. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to read this letter I wrote to them. Uh, just so it's documented somewhere too. Uh, it's not like, it's, it's, it's quite a downer to be honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to uh, lift any spirits. Lift any spirits, yeah. I'm sorry to have to send this to you, but... I wouldn't be true to my heart if I didn't. It's come to my attention that my granddad and stepnan's dog, Max, has found his way to your f friendly, I'm not going to say where. Yeah, yeah, don't dox Your friendly establishment. I'm relieved he has finally found a home with owners who are capable of looking after him. I thought it was an odd decision for my elderly grandparents to get a particularly large golden retriever, but his good nature made everyone happy, so it was hard to protest. The problems arose when my stepnan became overcome with her alcohol addiction routinely indulging herself and not being present enough to look after the dog. My granddad is also too old and fragile to care for a dog of Max's size and requirements. After this mess reached its peak, my mother and I took a traumatic trip to Wales to recover my granddad and bring him to live with our family. My stepnan went into care for her addiction. Obviously there was a huge golden retriever that needed a home. That was where I came into the picture. 
I was Max's owner for a couple of years, 2017, 2018. When he came into my care, he was obese from being fed working dog food and never taken on walks, and his coat was matted from multiple years of not being brushed or taken to the groomers. Over the years, I was able to slim him down and get his coat in good condition. I've known Max since he was a puppy and have a great bond with him, and up until a couple weeks ago, never thought I'd hear about him again. After a couple years looking after Max, my stepnan's family insisted on his return, as she was in a more stable condition compared to how she was years prior. I have much sympathy for her, alone in her isolated cabin, so I thought it was fair to give Max back so she'd have some company. Her family told us that he would be happy on their farm amongst their other dogs, that they would give us daily updates, they did say daily updates, on how he was doing. After I gave him back, I never saw or heard about him again. Two weeks ago, as of writing this, my mother called me and informed me that my stepnan had started drinking again and is in a very bad state. She told me that in, this in the time frame of the last few months, Max had been given to a pound to look for a new home. This was done against the wishes of my granddad and stepnan, but my stepnan's family have power of attorney. Somehow, in the mess of their relationship and family drama, this poor dog has been weaponized as a selfish tool to cause harm to different families. They know I would have gladly taken Max if he needed to be rehomed, but my stepnan's family have such a problem with my family that it would never have been an option in their minds, motivated out of sheer spite. I don't care about the family feuds, I only care about Max. My mother reached out to the kennel two weeks ago and let them know that Max had been put up for adoption against the will of both his owners. The pound let us know that they would reach out to his owners and explain the situation, but we haven't heard back from them. I took to social media and managed to find this post and discovered that where he was. I'm only contacting you now as we found out that Max was put up for adoption recently due to the fact that my stepnan's family refused to communicate with my granddad. In the unlikely event that they would communicate with my granddad, they would lie. My granddad reached out to ask how Max was doing after he learned his wife was in a nursing home. He was told that Max was very happy with her family when in fact, at this point, he'd already been sent to Although I'm so incredibly glad and grateful that he has been welcomed into an environment where we cared and loved for, I felt that I had to at least try to reach out and ask if you would consider letting me take Max home to a family he is bonded with and an area he is familiar with. Max is bonded with my mother's dog and he would be living with our four-year-old Golden Paisley. I understand if you can't find it in your heart to part with Max, he's so incredibly good-natured, a gentle giant, and a special soul. I hope you're taking him to the beach as it's his favorite place. Please do not let me know if there's any chance you- wait. Please do let me know, sorry, if there's any chance you would give him back to us. But I want to let you know that if you aren't able to part with him, I understand and won't pursue this any further. I just felt like I had to reach out and try. Attached should be a nice collection of pictures to prove that my story is true, including a portrait I have up in my hallway in his memory. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that this is a lot to take in, but you would surely do the same if our roles were reversed. Thank you for taking the time to read this. Yeah. Very well written. So I wrote that up, sent it on, it was Facebook? Facebook and an email. And <clears throat> for those images that I referenced at the end, I had to upload them to Google Drive because mm -hmm. they were over a certain <clears throat> size. Um, and when someone requests access to your Google Drive, you get an email. Mm -hmm. So like an hour after I sent it, I got this email. So I knew they'd like read it. Um, and by this point, it was like 9 p.m. on a Sunday or something. And then I started fearing like, oh, maybe they just... One of the options was that they'd just read it and not reply. Yeah. Just blank yeah. it. Um, but luckily they didn't blank it. They did reply. <clears throat> and I got that screenshot here. Um, past all the porn comments. <laughs> um, hi Alex, thanks for reaching out and for filling in a little of Max's history. He's such a well-behaved dog, it is obvious he was well brought up. If you can, could you let me know the exact date of birth for Max and where he was born? His age and looks are remarkably similar to our Golden. Max has settled down very quickly with us. Uh, I'll just not read some of that more uh, doxy stuff. The, uh, oh, I can't say that. <laughs> he gets on the beach every day as well as regular walks. Uh, that said, anyone from the family who is up this way are welcome to come and visit Max. 
While Max was in the rescue, the groomers had to shave his fur off as it was so matted and had bits in it. Uh, as you'll see from the photos enclosed, it is coming back slowly. I have to say I, my wife and daughter, and from the photo my mother, love Max to bits and could not let him go now. As well as this, I don't think another radical change to his life would be in his best interests. Best regards. Um, do you want to see the picture? He looks all fucked up. So he had to be all shaved. He's got to wear like a jacket. <laughs> He's got a little, little oh. coat on. <laughs> That is definitely old little Max though. Yeah. Oh. He's so fucking old now as well. I, I do think, you know, my own opinion on it is, is that they are kind of white. It is, I don't think Max, like having gone back to our farm and been neglected again, I think it is good that he's ended up in a place who do love him and cherish him. And I think that's the main important thing is he's going to be loved. Yeah. And I think having to <clears throat> jump around a lot would be n not that nice of him. Though, but we know that like this is probably the best place for him because it's you know we all know him. Yeah, yeah. The fact he's out of the bad situation. Yeah, at all is kind of a result. Um, the last thing I messaged them was that I'm so happy he's away from the farm and is finally getting the treatment he deserves. Thank you for hearing me out. Seeing as I wasn't around when my step stepman was the one who located him as a puppy and did all the paperwork. I was never entirely sure what his age was, so I'd estimated he was around six to eight when I had him in 2018. I'm fairly sure he was born in the local area. Um, I also found a nice picture of him that I took in 2014 when visiting my grandparents, which you might enjoy. And that's the image of him on a hay bale that I tweeted uh, on the Jar Twitter. Yeah. It's a very melancholy story. Do you, do you think you're going to try and, like, Go it, one day and just try and just see him. Well, uh, yeah, I was talking to someone who was like, "Let's go see him," and I, uh, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I want to do that. <clears throat> That's fair, because I want to leave with him. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's that sort of <clears throat> as, duty as, of care, like possessive kind of. Yeah. Like in in nurturing, mm -hmm. nurturing and possession are kind of like parallel yeah. and intertwined I do think that um, um, like you know, knowing that we basically knew nothing for years this is the best like end of the story for him it's, it's cause a he, happier ending than I was expecting yeah it's way way nicer yeah it, it reminds me of a um a Michael Morpurgo book I read when I was like s nine mm -mm. eight or nine about a greyhound that gets like stolen. It's like a, it's like the same story, but the inverse, where it, it ends with the dog re meeting the original owner, but the owner like doesn't recognize him. Cause oh, I think I might have read that. He likes his dog characters, doesn't he? Well, yeah, he, <clears throat> he, he likes writing from like the perspective of an animal or something. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. It's, it's like, even though he's in a good place, there's that part of you that's like... There's something unjust not, about it, because... It's not where he should be. Yeah, you know? it's unjust because if I'd known he was up for adoption at the time he was, I would have immediately contacted them and told yeah. them I know this dog. Yeah. And maybe I would have got like a preferential treatment or something. Yeah, like, you would have, because it's history of the dog. Yeah, yeah. and I could prove it, and... Um, yeah, I got loads of like documentation of him and the shrine and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was a special boy, that boy. He was. Well, he still is. Just no longer our boy. Yeah, there's just the boy it's, it's just a different feeling when it's like uh, when you've kind of returned something to like health. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, seeing him so bad and watching him get good. And then knowing that he got bad again. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, just shame on that family. Disgusting people. Yeah, because it's know? like, who gets Quite hurt intense. in the end? It's the dog and me. Yeah. Well, and our, um... <clears throat> like, it, the, their treatment of human beings is despicable. Mm -hmm. But, like... Something about the 
the ignorance and lack of control an animal has under the same circumstances being abused by them as well this phenomena mm. it's grim I was also like, yeah <coughs> I, I was really trying to imagine what it would how I'd react if I received a letter like that uh I don't know what you could really exp it's quite a lot to yeah be dumped um yeah I don't know I feel like I had to say something at least yeah I think because at least that is the full stop you kind of want because yeah. you know he's just got a good life at least I know now, like, if I wanted a picture of him, I could just, like, ask them. I'm yeah. I'm sure they'd send me one. <laughs> Whereas that wasn't the dynamic before. No. Um, but he's, like, clearly with another big golden, so it's like that, you know, yeah. they, they clearly, like, like goldens and know them. Mm. So, you know, he's going to be a... He's just be chewing on bones all day and just being happy <laughs> with people. So. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted him to be, like, Paisley's mentor. That was my dream. Yeah. Um... She needs some guidance. Yeah, I suppose that has to be Billy now. Yeah, yeah our, the guidance Argy gave her was the corruption. <laughs> yeah. It's just like ruined her. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I guess we'll see you after these cheery messages. <laughs> yeah. Life can be a dick sometimes. So get your dick from out your hand. And don't be a dick. Wear a dick. Dig the Head t-shirts available now. Check the description below. Before Valentine's Day. <laughs> Sometimes uh, when you do that face shit, it makes me feel like I'm in Hereditary. Really? Yeah. Like the ghosts are doing those kind of expressions, like in the corner in the dark. <laughs> scary shit. How bad? How how scary is Hereditary? Mm. It's pretty frightening. It freaked me but out. I get scared by horror movies. No, but I get... I, I literally... If I if I see one scene of horror movie, I won't sleep for two days. It's pretty intense. Yeah. <laughs> it gave me hemorrhoids. It, yeah, it, gives, uh, it gave me that fluttering, like, fight or flight feeling a few times. But I like that as the difference. Like, that's what I'm looking for. No, but I overthink emotional... it to the point where I literally can't sleep. Um... I think, yeah, a lot of the imagery is, like, in a house as well, so it's like... Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so well made, though, that you can't keep your eyes off. Mm. Well, this is the second half of the cast, so we head over to the suggestion thread on the r slash FNAF subreddit <laughs> and answer some questions. Um, unless you wanted to mention something important or whatever. It's nearly there. I thought you wanted to apologize to the Ruben report. Who, me? <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> what's his name again? Dave. Yeah, Dave. Dave, I'm... I'm sorry you're so morally corrupt. Hmm. Tell Got it off my chest, thank you. No worries, Dave. Yeah. Um, F out of here, Dave. Iron Hellmate 222 has two questions for us, but I'll do them in two parts. If you could shoot a liquid from each finger on one hand, what five liquids would you pick? I've heard this before. Okay, easy. This isn't fresh. Baked bean juice. What huh? juice? Ba ba baked bean. Oh, baked bean. Baked bean juice. I thought you said baby juice. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> Huh? <laughs> cum. <laughs> yeah. Yo, cum would be one of them. It would just be funny. Urine. So, urine. so baked bean juice, cum, So you urine. could pee out your finger instead of yeah. peeing. Um, That'd be cool. Yeah. Water. Really convenient to just shoot it in your mouth. Um, but does it have to, like, come from your sustenance? It, all they or, specify is shoot a liquid. Yeah, it can just be... Because this... this no, this actually needs logic behind it. That's really? A hypothetical question we don't No, but, but that's that's what I mean. The hypothetical isn't in-depth enough, so we can't answer. I'd have blood on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what would be nice, like... Mercury. Elderflower cordial. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
With like already mixed with water or just the cordial? Uh, mix. Actually, no, because one of the other ones could be water. Oh yeah, then you one is the syrup. Beam and <laughs> <laughs> like a like a like you want something like the. You, you have like a post mix, like on your hand. You know, Ooh, like the, the guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. Like good. lemonade, soda water, <laughs> Coke, Fanta, tonic. Yeah, I would want one gin, <laughs> Roku gin, coming out of one, and then tonic coming mm, out. Honestly, of like a, like a, like a, because obviously there's no rules here. It'd be like a fifty-year fucking Belveni or like a Yamazaki. Yeah. So make sure so it's just you can just like. No, I, I just go Fosters. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, you could but, be get well, well evil with it though. But they also asked which jar member would each would be each finger. In my opinion, James is the thumb of the group. And Bill Hader Gaming said, I'm calling it. James is the thumb, but he will say he's the middle finger. Alex will be the pinky. Jim would be the ring finger. And Randy would be the pointer. Who's the middle finger? No one. No one. Unless you think you deserve it. No, I think I'm a thumb. Okay. Really? So I stick out like one. I don't know why. Am I this? Hmm. Yeah, that is you. Okay, fair enough. That was pretty. Sna there was no, there was no disagreement there. It was well, pretty, who just, just the hell what? cares? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun hype here. <laughs> well, soon as Jim's being crass, like the crass captain, I was curious if Jamie and James consider themselves YouTubers. Is it something you guys bring up in conversation? Is it something you actively associate with yourselves? This is the thing. Wait, I'm only a YouTuber on my CV. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of added extra to be like, oh yes, I have a podcast with um, X amount of subscribers, and I talk about films. I talk about music and yeah. film. I would, yeah, I would yeah, never like fingers. <laughs> yeah, talk about in reality, I like, talk about my poo. Yeah, we talk about what finger we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks good on a CV. We're on the number one finger podcast. Well, no, but. As, uh, it eventually Flesh comes out that, we're, that we, we almost like I love telling people that we almost got sponsored by Flashlight. Yeah. This is a great like we could fact. have been sponsored by Flashlight. Yeah, yeah they I, ignored I us. The yeah, I should have been more fiery. They that one. they had the opportunity to officially sponsor podcast for the end of time. We would have been dedicated. Uh, there'd, be the bit, we'd have, there'd be piles yeah, of them. Our pockets. There'd would be, be there'd be signs. Pussies. <laughs> Pocket pussy for days. The official Pocket Pussy podcast. I imagine yeah, it, like... shit, that sounds so fire as yeah, well. Yeah, it does. And they send you so many that it's, like... You can make, like, custom wallpaper out of, like, half... Cut and half fleshlights, like... Mm. You know? Like, tiles. Yeah. <laughs> like, have your bathroom. Like, <laughs> <floor>. <laughs> like wiggles. <laughs> yeah. Get your toe caught in one. The good doorknobs... We can completely redesign doorknobs, so they... They are the insides. You've got to put your hand into mm, the pocket. Like Put seeds of getting over the door knob. Like that uh, HR Geiger game. What's it called? Slash. Or something. Scorn. Scorn, that's it. Mm. <laughs> that game is full of flashlights. It, it is, is kind of like a flashlight game. game. They should have yeah. sponsored that. Yeah. 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 It would have been... It would have had to have been our game of the year every, every year. Mm. If so, so yeah. Responsible this year it's the scorn mod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the sucky dry scorn mod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I don't consider myself a YouTuber. I don't either, I'm just a guy. I feel like to be a YouTuber it has to be your like, job job. Mm. Does it though? Because there are plenty of people who well, don't yeah. do it as their main thing. But I mean even well, yeah, I guess that does muddy the water. I'm I'm just a normal guy who goes to a job, you know. And that's what that's yeah, why I, I am. I, like I, I post cringy things on Twitter. Like I'm just a guy. Like if if you're like a a DJ, right? That's your main job. Yeah. But on the side, you create jewelry. Are you a jeweler? No, you're a DJ. Well, um, is it like purely a hobby? Well, like, you do stalls and stuff and make money from it, but... Like, and yeah, I'd say that's a, your jeweler. I'd say you're a jeweler, then. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you gain capital? No, just because it's something you actively do in your time. I think it's both. If it, it can't, things, they can be both, I suppose. Okay, what What if, if sometimes you climb rock walls? 
Well, that means you have rock a climbing. hobby for b- bouldering. Yeah. Does that's that make you a boulder? Not, no, bouldering is a cool, a cool word for it. I'm going bouldering. I wish I had like a I giant think boulder I could climb. I don't think. Why? I, no, you, there is like a type of climbing where you literally just climb a boulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I don't think it should be called that. Well, it should, is called that. What should it be called? Climbing. Climb walling. Climbing. Well, yeah. What is that? That's what monkeys do. We boulder. We've already no, established bro, that all men are monkeys. We go Boulders Gate 3 pacifist build. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, I guess I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> uh, Jixmas says, Can the wrestlers help me with my math homework? Okay. What's 9 plus 10? <laughs> oh, mm. what did you get in your? S- You're gonna get me a suit. What is Billy doing in there? She's calling the- Billy, <laughs> Billy, oi! <laughs> <laughs> I stopped her. Well, I, well, I guess. Um, what did we get in our GCSEs at Murphs? Like this- a B. I can't remember. I think B. I had a whole year of um the, the class <laughs> the class did nothing for all of <laughs> for all of year ten maths my class did nothing like genuinely nothing like z- like the uh the teacher couldn't control the class so we didn't we did mm. nothing this is See, interesting. I had a similar thing <laughs> with um English my my English teacher had um seasonal depression mm. so like winter would come around he's gone oh wow yeah really good teacher. But never, never had him. So my, I think my English suffered a little bit because of that. I my so English I'm dumb. I fucking failed everything, man. You didn't fail. Oh, a D's a fail, C's a pass. Did you get a D? I got D in pretty much everything. Hmm. I mean, except except maths, because I hundred percented the paper, and they didn't let me go up, up a set. To get a B, they were yeah. like, "No, you're too stupid." No, you you got railroaded because I got Eng- that that might because your English was of a certain level at the time. Yeah, it it made it so you had to be in the lower math grades. Mm. You had like, to be good at everything broadly. You couldn't yeah do yeah one thing. So, and yeah. uh, I heard a thing that Neil deGrasse Tyson said, and like it, by no means is he a, a perfect role model. But um, I think what you said about education is quite true. And like when when you see people like succeeding across the board hmm. in schools, that's that's not a sign that they had all good teachers, but they like su- succeeded in in spite of the bad ones. Mm-hmm. You know, like there's something in them pushed them, and it it wasn't to do with the teachers. But like if if you're not that sort of person, then like. One subject you'll be naturally good at, the rest, like, mm-hmm. you don't have a hope in hell if, if the teacher's not right. And, yeah, well, it's yeah. weird to structure that way, because uh, I don't know why you'd expect everyone to be a jack of all trades. Yeah, that's, in, that, like, that's not good how at what people good at. Yeah, yeah. I, f- I think there's a lot of criticism to be leveraged at the education system, but until it's specialised per student's ability and who they are, it's just going to be completely fucked. Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm not someone who's built for fucking maths and, not maths, um, English and, like, deconstructing books. But, you know, give me a fucking, like, engine. You know, it's hands-on. It's like that type of stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. the education people The amount people of times are things that, like, I have a negative association with something I was taught in school. So then I, like, write off something. But then I revisit it for some reason as yeah. an adult and I'm like... This is Wait, the most interesting thing. Yeah, yeah, this is blowing my mind. Like, this is the, the best thing I've ever read. Or, like, this is this information is insane. Mm-hmm. But, like, the scale of it wasn't communicated properly or the the workings of it wasn't communicated in an interesting way. Or I, I'd say that's true for every subject bar one. What? Geography. What, well, you think everyone hates geography? I think it cannot be interesting. <laughs> I think it can. No, but, like, just looking at... I don't like, said to disagree. I think it can be interesting no, if I they do as focused well. on. I do. Yeah. Th- go on, man. No, like just Boring. go on Google Maps and just like look at stuff and the scale of things, and that's geography. 
I'm not very good at I'm not very good at geography. <laughs> but do you mean where things are relative to other things? Yeah, like maps, cartography, and the map of the world. And it's interesting when you look at it through a maths lens. I've yeah. no. I think geography like, is insanely more interesting once you look at it through a history lens. Yeah, it's if like you look at it through a can... history lens, very interesting. If you look at it through a chemistry lens, very interesting. You look at it... Biology? Biologically interesting. If you look at geography... I can't even... That's a, that's snoring, a good point, because I don't remember, like, like a single, like, thing I was taught in geography. Yeah. I, yeah, nothing. yeah, because it's it, all it is is like a an amalgamation of w all the interesting subjects, boiled down to a simple, boring, like surface level. Uh, <laughs> okay, throwing out the nothing. geography hot takes. Yeah, if you're a geography teacher, re-educate yourself. Like, what are you? How useful even is geography? Because at the end of the day, I didn't learn anything from geography, I, but I know where places are on the map. I know what <coughs> countries there are on the map. I don't think we learned that, though. We did geography. Just crazy. Yeah, I don't remember learning that, <laughs> to be honest. I learned that in my adult life, I, out of curiosity. of like, well, yeah, I, know, yeah. I know where you, you yeah, Slavia Google was. Google Maps taught me that. Google Maps taught me that. I want, I've been very tempted to get that Lego map you can build and put on the wall. Mm. That's very cool. I do think maps are cool, though. Maps are cool. You know? Skyrim. <laughs> Red Dead. I had a Red Dead map in my room growing up. Mm. I did as GTA well. GTA 5 map. map. GTA 4 map. Useful. Because you'd be like, I'm there. Yeah. You know, you start charting a course. Well, I'm charting a course to this question from the Big Large. Oh my god. It says, recently, English YouTuber Steve Reviews covered an English icon known as Mr. Blobby. As a southerner yank, I've never heard of or seen this walking lump of humanoid STDs, but I do wonder if you Jarboys have any experience with this creature. Were you fans? Are you still fans? Does James wank to him? Bear, is, bear fellas. Is he the pink guy? Yeah, I remember Mr. No, Blobby. Purple. I thought he was pink and no, he had some purple um, on him. No, he's, he's pink with black dots. That's it, Mr. Blobby. Who is he? I thought he was like a charity guy. Is he? Did what did, is that, did he turn out to be? Did he turn? Did he turn out to be a pedophile? Well, he's like he's not Mr. like Blobby. a. <laughs> 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 you mean this guy? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's Mr. Mr. Blobby. Blobby. See, I always get confused between Mr. Blobby and Mr. Chips. <laughs> well, yeah, he was a pederast. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was like a children in need thing. Mr. Blobby is a Yay. character <laughs> originally filtered, featured on the British Saturday night variety show, Noel's House Party. Oh, no. Created with Charlie Adams, a writer for the show, Mr. Blobby is a bulbous pink figure covered in yellow spots with a permanently toothy grin and green jiggling eyes. That's definitely a 90s creation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Freaky man. Yeah, I, 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 I vaguely remember him having a scary voice as well. Oh, Mr. Blobby. I want to see a FNAF animatronic with this. Design. Sheesh, yeah. Mr. Blobby FNAF. Hell yeah. H Hello? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Blobby? <laughs> <laughs> He's not a pedophile, so it's okay. Well, what do you mean, the person well, who was in the suit? No, or the Noel Edmonds. Oh, oh, okay. No, no, that guy's just crazy, right? Yeah, I think he's he had a it. bunch of controversies, but not not pedder. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> no Edmonds. Oh, this motherfucker. Yeah, from the, the, the deal or no deal. Deal or no deal. What a, what a program. <laughs> Cracking program. Oh, good. I'm glad to know he's not Cracking pederast. program. Wait, so he created Mr. Blobby? No, no, no he, 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 he played was just. <laughs> no, 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 he, he was his, he, he was, was Mr. Blobby's co-host. Mr. Blobby's boyfriend. Maybe they had an affair. Yeah, I that's the contro controversy. Maybe that was the Noel controversy. <laughs> he just appears with yellow spots one day. Yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Call him Blobby. I'm blobbing up. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Couple mm. more little blobbies here. Mm. Uh, oh. Squeezy P says regarding the northern niceness discussion about the northerners in the UK being nicer than southerners. As someone hailing from Huddersfield between Leeds, Manchester and Sheffield, I can confirm that it is not a lie. 
Whilst experiencing many cordial and pleasant people down south, northerners do seem to be more concerned in their warmth when interacting. I believe this stems from a complicated history of industry, migration, and general othering from the south. We often have a chip on our shoulder, a cynical view of the world, and a welcoming, cap-doffing demeanor. While I do enjoy the South, I would struggle to adjust to the potential absence of this, as it feels like it's culturally ingrained in my identity at this point. Bear, bear boys, and don't stop gaming. More of our blood is connected to the North. It's true. Um, yeah. Like Fleetwood area. Hmm? Yeah, I, I feel like when you go up North and you interact with someone, they're, they're there for it. You know, mm -hmm. whereas my southern program brain is like, all right, you, you've done the bare minimum. Now get out of there. <laughs> Run. <laughs> <laughs> Find an excuse. G go. <laughs> you know, stay. Well, I'm from the south. You're from That's the south. Egg. Being the, from the, the south is not an egg. You're from the south. I'm from Slough. <laughs> oh, that's Born it. in Slough, raised in Reading, mate. <laughs> Fucking breaks the geezer I am. <laughs> um, penultimate one here from Mr. John27, Peruvian Mighty here. Have you guys tried any Latin American food outside of Mexican, of course? Peru is considered by many to have the best cuisine worldwide, but it's still not as popular as other countries' food. Anyways, thanks for the laughs. You guys got me through COVID. And help me with my English. Did nice. you know Peru's by Honduras? Okay. <laughs> um, it's not. I gotta say, I, I'm gonna need them to comment again with uh, some suggestions. Yeah. yeah. It's not really like a. I've it's not. A, it's not something I've really cooked. There aren't really Peruvian restaurants that. Where I know a quesadillas of. from? That's all I'm asking. <laughs> 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 I made some quesadillas um, a couple of days ago. Look, Do check you, this out. They're delicious. Do you mean aren't quesadillas. They? Casa, Casa House. Shut the <laughs> fuck. Um, yeah, look, ba 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 booey. Mmm. Can we see? Ba ba booey. They're beans. That's them. some crazy shit. Beans. Um, where's no, no, where the British beige? It's it's not British. <laughs> They're wrapped in fucking tortillas. <laughs> I can't I can't adjust the color of a tortilla. In the middle is brown and fucking yellow. Call of Duty Black Ops, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> Brown and yellow. Be a good fella. Can you bleep all that, please? I don't like people seeing that side of me. We don't bleep anymore. Can you Black Ops that then, please? I can Get Black Ops, black ops, ops that. <laughs> Maybe I'll Black Ops the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's not a bad idea. Or maybe for no reason I'll add on three hours of James saying call it as he shit himself. So. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and the last question is from Baba Bui. Who says I have the truth about Billy. Huh? He says I have the truth about Billy. Go on then. There is no truth about Billy. We found out something crazy about She's Billy. She's Bombay mix. She's Bombay. She's Bombay. Bombay. To be fair, that's just a theory. No, it's real. It's just a theory. Did you, someone posted the FNAF thing on, on, on the game theories fucking Reddit. <laughs> yeah, it's all. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, Billy's Bombay. Billy's Bombay. I don't know much about cat breeds. No uh, one does. You, nobody cares. No enough. one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, are you really going to say that to r slash chonkers? They, they don't count they don't as care clap. what type... They, all they... They 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 they're dealing in like size. They're not dealing. They don't. They only care if it's if it's uh, severely obese and uh, can't live a normal <laughs> life. That's the only yeah. thing they care about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Not our the lower the quality of life, the higher the, the more more gold you get. Yeah. <laughs> up dudes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I up boots. <laughs> I hate I hate the like you know I, I can't take it anymore like. Uh, what has this world come to type, like, dialogue, you know? What it's, do you mean? It's boring, like... The state of the world, it's just... I wouldn't want to bring new life into it, sort of thing, you know? It's like, shut up. But when I hear updates, 
It makes you want to have just so many children. It, it makes me want to... No, it makes me want to, like, gain power, political power and um, commit atrocities. Kill Redditors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reddit genocide. <laughs> Redicide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Archonkers Pocalypse. They've been keeping the uh, the Reddit gold f- to themselves for far too long. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't been sharing the wealth. I'm a big hater of our slash chonkers. I'm a big hater of fucking... Oh. Huh? Nah. Say it. Nah. Nah, I knew you were going to say it was going to be bad. Yeah. It was going to be really bad, actually. It was going to get Black ops <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> In fact, Black Ops the lead up to it, so people can't make up. Shall I go? Shall I retroactively Black Ops like every episode? Yep, that's not a bad idea. How many hours of work is that? <laughs> just like re-upload every file the exact length of every episode, but it's just Black Ops. <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops. Should we make? Should we start making Jarcasts um, seasonal Ooh. only? Should we just do we upload an mm. episode and delete battle it? Battle pass only. Yeah, delete it after four weeks. Mm. All yeah. week. No, What's you have idea? to do the battle pass. You get like I don't know, what 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 could be just the shite that we put in every other level apart from the last level? Right, jar coins. Jar Yeah, a few jar, jar tokens. Coins. Yeah. Like a jar cosmetic, like feet picks. Yeah. It's like a spray. A spray? Like the smell of jar. Yeah. Oh, urine. Yeah. That'd be a good one. Yeah. Jar your. Level should we start selling little kind of shit challenge of, of our urine? Like, dehydrated James, <laughs> urine. <laughs> 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 yeah, we could have like a, an auction for it. Yeah, you could. You, we, we we could sell golden showers. H- hire out like a big hall and you know. How much for this? Shower everyone. We're gonna start. We're <laughs> gonna start this one at forty pounds. James is extremely dehydrated. Urine. <laughs> forty pounds. Anyone doing forty you, pounds? Like alien blood. <laughs> what would be the most expensive thing on the jar auctions? What thing do we own which would be bidded you. the highest? I know what it yeah, is. <laughs> what? Dick the herd. If I had to guess, it'd be that that Sandy. Mm, the Sandy painting. Um, Golden Freddy. Mm. I reckon this Sandy. Mm, that Sandy. The crochet well. Sandy. I think the um the Crop dog the dog would definitely be worth a lot. The dog. Which one, Ruby? The, the dog. The dog. The the, oh, the dog. Smiler. <laughs> the smiler. <laughs> um, that would be worth a lot. That being the normal episode. The normal episode, yeah. and possibly the Max Payne in the thing. Like that's all. All the worth mm. is in the jar. So that. As well. Possibly. That being, what's his name again? Tank Dempsey, the Tank Dempsey version. Tank Dempsey. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. And uh, he will also give away. The person who spends the most money will get the Richard Hammond book. Bloody, bloody. Oh, no, 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 fucking forgetting. Um, Pickle Wick. Oh, God. Cucumber that, Nick. That's full Cucumber of Nick. Max's hair. <laughs> Shit, <Sure>, yeah. <laughs> we can grow a new one. Great. <laughs> I, think, I think there already is one growing in there. <laughs> But that it's, that it's like would a be max worth. effigy. How much do you think someone would pay for that? Maybe I should have attached that. But like, I've got a, I've collected his hair. <laughs> <laughs> what what is um? No, you don't, bro. Don't, do not. You don't want another fucking lockdown, do you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, like... James, you're showing your ass way too hard. There's shit stains, bro. Yeah, it's there's not cheeks. Shit stains. There's full cheekage. <laughs> look, look, look. There's a little green. Oh, the booger at the bottom. Is that that would be the cucumber. <laughs> cucumber neck. Oh yeah. And I'm the, still. And the, and the bobby pins are in it. I'm bobby. still utterly confused. The uh, <laughs> the one <laughs> the one time I accidentally opened it, it was really cold. <laughs> like the air that came out. Of it <laughs> the air like... was like, oh, he's cold. Mm, haunted like the like the lamp. <laughs> Shall I turn the lamp on very quickly? <laughs> turn the lamp. Show 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 the world the lamp. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, can we stick that on the top of your car? <laughs> Why does it do that? I don't know. 
It's by the Ouija board. It just, it's looping, I guess, uh, with my lack of electrical knowledge, you know, having worked Stop flashing if you're alive. Flash if you're alive. It's a message. <laughs> yeah. What if it's a message? Oh my god! <laughs> if there is a being in this realm, then Communicate. stop flashing. Please, can you communicate through the light? No, I think it's just electricity wrongness. It's got a perfect cadence, though. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, if you if you take that to a hard techno gig, you're going to become the most likable yeah. person ever. I kind of want to like put this lamp on the sofa and like interview this lamp. Is it perfect? Is it actually Morse code? Yeah, so I'm thinking, what if there's what if it's like the soul of someone because of the Ouija board has like gone into this yeah. lamp and they're like screaming for help. Oh well, it's it's not regular. <coughs> there's something scary about it. And the final question of the episode goes to you, the viewer. Will you like? Will you subscribe? Fuck! <laughs> 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 You've been on fire this episode, bro. Uh, uh, the Jamie episode. I can't do that. Shit. I don't know how people can. You, when you said you were right. really cringy today, you were fucking <laughs> on it, aren't you? Yeah, man. <laughs>